former U.S. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos in Rochester, joining the state's commissioner on a tour of the St. Charles School. We're a private provider of special education for kids in New Hampshire um, who don't just don't do well in the public school. The visit coming as the new Education Freedom Accounts program opens here that lets parents in a certain income bracket get an average $4,600 grant to homeschool or send a child to private, even religious schools, using public money. It's important that the resources that are already committed for that child find their way with that child to the place that's going to be best for them. The cost to taxpayers an ongoing concern. Critics say the program was presented to the legislature as likely involving 28 students this year. Since Friday, 1,500 families have inquired. What was billed was 130,000. Uh, what was presented as a as a state expo financial exposure is 70 million, and we are now seven million dollars towards that. Among the pieces of legislation that critics plan to put forth are one that would cap the expenditures to what was initially put forth to the legislature, and another would ask the attorney general's office to watch for fraud. The commissioner says up to 70,000 students in the Granite State are financially eligible, but nationally only a small percent take advantage. He says it's actually a net savings to taxpayers. In New Hampshire, we pay about $20,000 per year for a student to be in school. And when a student elects an education freedom account, about $5,000 of that will follow the student and 15,000 of that will stay in the local community. So really there's a net savings to taxpayers. In Rochester, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.